Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is gonna be a long one, just like everyone else has said. And today we're gonna to get started on the Mezco 112 Collective TMNT. Now, uh, I am not the gigantic TMNT fan that everyone else is. I do have love and appreciation for them. I actually do love them in my own way, but I don't review as much Turtle stuff because I feel like it feels weird sometimes because I love the comics, I love the IDW run, and these are the thing for me. Like this is like, leaning towards the idw run with a mix of the mirage look and that's why it works for me but i know a lot of people they like they love every iteration of the turtles i'm like that's just not for me so with these coming these were a very big deal for me these worked out in a way that i can do like my mirage slash uh, idw run absolutely love it so we have a lot to cover it's gonna it's gonna sound wonky in some parts i guess and that's because i'm exhausted <laughs> so Yes, let's let's get into it. Let's let's stay excited. Let's stay fun. And I'm gonna try to articulation is gonna be a little different because these two guys have straps. These two guys have regular belts. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that shows you the difference between the two, how the articulation moves the same, but how it works towards the strap guys and these guys. And that's why I have them separated in two categories. Now, our look, we're gonna go over all four turtles. Let's start with Donnie. We're gonna go from left to right. Here we are with my main man Donnie. He has a I don't want to call it a, it's like a, a green blue skin. Our purple bandana, I feel like it's not purple enough. It's a little too close to blue purple and not purple purple, but I still like this very much that they gave it the dark color to wash over the skin color that we have here. I, I noticed that when uh, I opened them up, I love that they have these bandage wraps that still go over with the ball joint covering the skin. We have these knee pads, which have the elastic bands here. We have our soft goods which looks fantastic. And I do believe the pouch actually opens up. Yes, it does. The pouch does open up. I'll get to that in a little bit. On our backhand side, we have our holster for our, uh, uh, I don't know why I couldn't say stick for some reason, but yeah. And then we also have a place for more carrying of items as well as two smaller pockets. And those ones open up as well, which is utterly fantastic, right? We have a look and articulation here. I love that they have a ton of head range and movements. They can even look up and look down. We can hit the T-pose, yes we can. We're gonna get to that right now. <clears throat> we have a beautiful T-pose. We have bicep swivel, well, we do have bicep swivel, there we go. We are double jointed in the arms, so as you can see here. What's really cool is there is a mix of what is upper torso articulation and lower torso articulation. We'll talk about that in a second. There's no drop down but you can lift the leg all the way up to do 90 degrees. You can also move the shell slightly because it's soft to get a little higher, slightly higher than 90 degrees. We have a beautiful double joint and we do have ankle pivot, right? Forwards, backwards, left and right. It's not so much going forward that you'll get a lot, but you can go outward and inward very well. There's also a thigh swivel as well. Now, with the lower torso swivel, it gets a little tricky because it's hard to see but as you can see, it is there. And we can twist left and right. As you can see, I'm twisting it now. And you can see how the soft shell allows it to do that. And then we can twist back. Same with the upper torso, but because of how he has his band over, you have to be careful. And I suggest you move a little more with this than without it. So that way you can move a little better. There you have that. Now. The same applies for all turtles, but I want to get a look at them so we can actually, you know, look cool because <clears throat> I think I like I like these a lot. And I think my biggest thing, ooh, I love this green. I think my biggest thing is going to be that how do you showcase these that's going to be different from what everybody else does? And I think that's where photographers are going to shine with this set, just with how beautiful these guys are. And as you can see, they do all have different, oops, sorry, he was punching his brother. They do all have different head sculpts, which is beautiful. That means you can, you can tell by their personality of their teeth and the grit on their faces. So with Leo, it's very similar to that of what is Donnie in terms of articulation. I feel like you can move a little bit more free with Leo's shell, but I love that you can also slightly maneuver this over. As you can see, I can slide it up and down we have a more darker green we have a nice wash of blue his green is a more like i don't know how to call it like a crayola green <laughs> his bandages are much more prominent to show in the arms whereas donnie's kind of blends in with him his pads are also a browner shade 
and this watch is different as well as you can see we have the holsters for our sword sheaths we have the three pieces here for the holding of items and we have a pouch here closer to our left hand side for leo right so do we also have the same scratches no they have yes they do have similar if not the same scratches so yeah it seems like these guys have the same scratches on their shells in the front but they are differently colored his is a more uh beige his is a more brownish wash in his color next up we have my main man Raphael. grit teeth and all he has more pouches in the front and the holsters for his size are here i actually like Raphael. he's one of my favorite if not my favorite turtle Growing up, I was a Leo guy, but as an adult, I think I identify more with Raphael. Life has been hard, and you're a little bit more jaded. But you try to maintain, like, his version of happiness. But I'm I'm quite more happier than he is. But I do understand his story. Here we have a holster for weapons and items here. We'll get into those later. Same like Leo, his bandages are more prominent. While Leo's are a darker wash, his is a more lighter brown, which is pretty cool. We have our nice, beautiful red bandana, and we still oops, and we still keep all the same articulation. My neck is a little stiff in his. Oh, actually, Raphael has a slightly thicker neck than the others. I didn't realize that. So Raphael's neck is slightly thicker and shorter than the others. So you can see the difference in them. That's pretty cool. I like that. Didn't realize that until now. So Raphael is slightly different. Now, what's cool is I can show you on Raphael that I couldn't show you in the others. When you take your belt off, I'm going to slide it down, right? Let's say you wanted a naked turtle. What's really cool is, look at this. We can rotate our shells. So we can rotate the shells of our characters. We can roll it up, down. And when you do it this way, right, you actually get a little bit more room for articulation. You can see that the upper torso here has more movement. Look at that. Beautiful. Way more movement that will allow you to maneuver your turtles the way that you like right then we still have more leg articulation that soft shell going up so yeah your turtles do have a lot of movement so there is technically an ab crunch here in your turtles i'm sure you can see that look at that beautiful beautiful so you have these beautiful movements for your turtles i'm gonna have raf square up <clears throat> let's say if raf had none of the gear right but he was turtle ready Look at that. And because we can rotate the shell up and down and around, it gives us a little bit more freeform movement. I love that you can do that. I'm not going to put his belt back on right now because I like the way this looks. Look at that. Same with Mikey. He can have his belt removed. Mikey has a slightly different neck, just like the other two. So Donnie and Mikey have slimmer necks. He has a shorter, slightly fatter neck, and Raph has the fattest neck. But just like with Raph, rotation of the shell and all these similar articulation, right? But we're gonna rotate his back up because we didn't get to his, his movements and other things. <laughs> so you can slide these back up and you can see that Mikey has a belt here, two placements for his nunchucks and all the same articulation. We do get a more browner, prominent, as we have the more Crayola green, but lighter for Mikey. I love his orange bandana, as well as, oh, okay, I didn't notice that before. Mikey has like a brownish wash over the mouth, but it's still utterly fantastic. These give them a lot of personality and a distinct look. So that way, like I said, with photographers, you have a way to really showcase those look of these guys right with that being said we've gone over our four turtles i'm gonna aim to oh wow this is actually cool there's a little bit of elastic here in the belt to help shape our turtle and their design i didn't realize that before so that's pretty cool with all of this now we're gonna jump into accessories to show them how we holster these things open in the pouches things like that because i think rafts does not open but uh we'll try well we're gonna aim and see so let's get to it Okay, now turtle accessories will be broken up across five segments, which is the four individual turtle stuff, and then we're going to do the shared accessories. So, we're going to start with Donnie, again, left to right. Here we have my main man, Donnie Grant. Now, we will get 
two alternative sculpts. One of them being our neutral head. I actually really, really enjoy this sculpt, right? <clears throat> then we will get one more sculpt being that smirking head. I really love this one. I feel like this really fits Donnie's style. Not as good as Mikey, but it does work. Then we will get alternative long bandana. I'm just gonna plug it into one of these sculpts so you can see how it looks. Look at that. This is beautiful. These are indeed beautiful. Then we will get sets of hands. We will get some open action hands, all right? We will get some item holding hands and I gotta make sure I get these right. Here we are. We have some item holding hands and I think those are all wrong. Wait, so they are slightly different. This one looks like it's for holding very smaller items. This one's like it's for holding our bow staff, but we're gonna double check now as we get into that. Then we have a more slightly open hands for each one. You will also get turtle communicator and turtle grappling hook. Now you will get these with each of the turtles. I'm not gonna go over this four times, so I'm gonna go over it with Donnie. You will get this, the grappling hook, which when you push it in, the grappling hook comes out. Mine is a little jammed there, but let's actually try it again. There we go. When you push it all the way in, it will come outward. When you push it back in, it goes back down, latches in. So you just gotta be careful, right? Push in, push out, push in, push out. Then we will get our communicator. When you pull this up, it opens up to our communicator. Push back down, goes back in. And I believe, like I said, there is a placement on it, but uh, I have to double check because there's probably no placement here for Donnie, but it probably could be held in their hands like so. Because it does. <laughs> Actually, look, worked out just fine. Got the proper hand on the first try. Then we will get our tray of other specialty accessories. Let's open it up. I'm going to, it's crazy too, because I'm like, I'm opening this up because it's totally different from when you like handle something. Because I was fortunate enough to display them at San Diego Comic Con from Ezco. These feel totally different from the ones that I held, and these feel so much better. We have Donnie's bow staff. I don't know why I couldn't find the word earlier. It is not soft. This is a solid piece, right? It holds really well. So that means more than likely it's probably going to be able to hold the weight of the figure when I do cool stuff. I'll test that out later. You will get some Googles. You know Donnie has inventions. These actually have a nice rotating piece here. You will get, for the Lord of me, I don't know the name of this weapon. And I really want to remember it, but I'm pretty sure this could be held in hand and used. So you have this. I don't know the name of that weapon, so someone please let me know. Then, I love this. This looks like a Naginata staff, but that could be held on the end with string. Which, by the way, you will get four sets of strings. I'm not even going to begin to get in it. You'll get four sets of them. We're never going back to that, because I'm going to get that tangled up. All right? And you can attach string to it, or you can use it at the other edge of the grappling hook, whichever one you want. You'll also get Donnie's blaster. I love this. I love that this was included. It's one of those things where I'm sitting here like, man, I don't know how this is going to be included if they're going to. They did it, and they added the wrist communicator to it. Shout out to them for this. I love this. Sensational. <laughs> like, has an elastic piece here as well. I do believe it's supposed to be placed on the right arm, but you can have fun and put it on the left arm as well. I'd say why not, right? You will also get three small daggers and that looks like an attachment piece that looks like we can add on other parts to our belts and things like that. I'm gonna have to double check on that. I am quite unsure at this time. Next up, you will also get a soft goods hood, which I'm gonna do in the photos, but I'm actually gonna show you guys here. Like you'll see it much better in the photos when I use it, but I'm gonna open it up for the first time and we have our soft goods hood. Oh, it's wired. So yeah, it's wired. So you could be the cloaked Donnie that you've always wanted to be. Will I leave it on all video? Probably. I'll probably leave that soft goods on for most, if not all of the video. Just so you can like get a nice glimpse or a look at what you're getting into. So here's our soft goods hood. And like I said, it is wired. We're gonna pop our hood on. The top of the hood seems to be wired as well. 
and I'm probably doing this the most extracurricular way there is, but this is what happens when you do things on the fly. There we go. Yep, this feels like a mix between both the old stuff and the new stuff, but I love it. You can actually swing it off to the side so you can hide your little wrist communicator or you can turn it around. It's up to you. But again, I love stuff like this. It gives you lots of options. Now, what I am going to do is we're going to jump into the next turtle. So I'll see you guys for the next segment. I was wrong. Not going to jump into the next segment yet because I forgot to go over the fact that he comes with specific effects for his bow staff. Voila. And voila. Right? You have hit and smash effects. Right? And then we also have the extending pole effect, which is dope because if you have like, if you know, Mezco makes excellent effects. Like, look at that. Psh, 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 impact effects. Let me, oh, you can do the gambit. You can do the gambit. I did that in a photo once and it just reminded me to do that again. Sorry, got super excited. But yes, let's get to the next one. Sorry. <laughs> All right. One last thing because I forgot it again on Donnie is that we get a slice of pizza on the Donnie side, right? Soft, malleable, soft. Two Fs, no Ts. <laughs> now, let us get to Leonardo. Yes, 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 yes. Right? We will get a open set of action hands. This is going to be the ones that, just like with Donnie, we held our communicator and grappling hook in. Right? Or for larger items, if you wish. Then you will get a set of sword holding hands. You'll get another set for his, uh, I get slashing forward or looks like a slanted right, I mean, sorry, left hand. Same for this one. And it's crazy because even though they're similar, they're slightly different in like the texture of the hand, like the subtle movements, whereas one would like slightly go further in, but they still do the job. Then we have a very small item holding hand. I'm assuming this is going to be for the throwing star hands because we do get some for Leo as well as this hand. So you get all those. That could also be for what is called the pizza slice holding hand. It all depends on how you want to go about it and what it is that you want to see. You will also get two other sculpts, just like with Donnie. You will get our neutral head. And I feel like they nailed these head sculpts for the turtles. Really, really do. Then we have our open action mouth sculpt. And just like with Donnie, we will also get an open bandana. La -da -dee -dee -da. Sensational. So now we're gonna open up our other items. Cause oh, <clears throat> we have our throwing star effects. Let's see about a hand for that, right? This looks like this goes in here. If you want to throw it, I could be wrong, but I like the idea of this. And it also could go into like this hand, right? Where he's like throwing it out like this. So again, there could be options. I'm just trying to give you some solutions. Then we have our weapons for Leo. You will get, let's actually open it up. Again, as we go through it, I'm trying to find the simplest route to take so I don't take up too much of your time, right? I want you to enjoy this, but also you know, be informed, but like in a delightful way. So here we have it with our weapons. We will get our sheaths, our swords, three kunai, some, uh, not brass knuckles, but like claw hands. So these can also be for the item holding hands for holding the swords. And just like with Donnie, that extra piece here, that allows for that, uh, it looks like extra storage. So there you have that. Now for our soft goods for Leo, I think they did something very, very genius for Leo. Oh, I dropped a small part, y'all. Lord knows, I hope I find it. <laughs> So, for Leo, oh, you know what? I'm tripping, y'all. I got to take out a sword so you can see the sword slash effects. So I'm going to take out one of the swords. I mean, you can hear it. Sounds like I'm opening up a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> so here we are. And you will get two of these for our sword slash effect. I'm simply forgetting things because it's so, it's very excitable in a way. Like, where's one of those, I want to get to everything and talk to you about it. But I also will forget because I want to talk to you about it. And for Leo, we get two soft goods. We're going to get a red scarf and we're going to get a a black cloak. And I feel like they were aiming for the dark Leo look from the IDW run. And I could be wrong, but I'm hoping that's what they were aiming for. I just wish they had a, like leaned full into it. So we actually get a cloak very similar to that of Donnie's. 
So two cloaked menaces, one in brown, one in black. So we know how the cloaks kind of look already. And the same will probably apply to the scarf. This is like a scarf that we got similar to what we got Gomez. So I'm not going to open this. I'm going to save this for the photos because this definitely looks like something very similar to the Gomez scarf from back in the day when we were getting scarves with the Gomez's. And I think that about wraps up Leo. Let's jump into Raph. So now we're going to work our way up to Raph. So let's bring our bad boy here. We have an alternative sculpt here. This is going to be our grit teeth. I think this is like our neutral Raph face. Like this is sensational Raph. This is very, it just works for me. <laughs> I don't even know what to say because it's so Raph. Then another sculpt just like it is our open mouth one with him screaming being Raph. This feels very Mirage. Ooh, excuse me. This feels very Mirage in its way, as well as classic turtle. And I love it. And just like with the others, you will get a long bandana. Let me pop it up. Look like he's flying down. Right? Then you will get a slew of hands and materials. Let's get to it. We will get, <clears throat> this looks like a open item hand, right? For our smaller items that we'll get. We have, oh, we have these bad boys. These look like throwing accessory hands, right? We will get two right, it's, I think I got a, maybe a mistake. I have two right hands. I'm sorry, two left hands for open communicators. I was probably supposed to get a left one, but I got two. I'm sorry. I, my words are jumbled. <laughs> I got two left ones and I was supposed to get a left and a right one. So that's probably an, a mistake, but we'll we'll deal with that later. We'll go to customer service. We have some side holding hands. And then we have a another set of hands, which looks like more side throwing hands. But these are supposed to be held up through the uh, hands here. You already know how rafts signature way of holding them and that's really really cool you will get a slice of pizza a slice of za for those of you who are new here All right we're gonna open up his clamshell for his items of weapons Doo -doo 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 -doo. right so oop, i almost dropped stuff <clears throat> here we have it so we have throwing stars, a.k.a. shurikens. It doesn't matter. You knew what the hell I meant. <laughs> we have the actual effect part for them being said and thrown. We have our size. We have a kunai next to a handle. There's a proper name for this that eludes me at this time. We have tonfas, right? And then we have our hat for our disguise, right? And, oh, that's pretty cool. So for our hat for it to stay on, it plugs into the back of the head. So you won't need your said bandana plugs into the back of the head so that's actually pretty cool right then we have our latch on piece for our extra parts for those extra effects we're going to take out one of the size here we're going to do a couple of things right one of them being right how we show it in his hand like this like i said before then we have side effects and we also have throwing kunai effect right but we also have I believe this note hold on how does this work oh here we go plug it in here and it comes from the throwing hand yep perfect got it right the first time i'm very happy with this this is actually really cool we have a throwing sigh effect for raf he doesn't care about it bouncing back he's not bullseye he don't give a damn <laughs> and then you actually have some sly sigh slash effects so these will probably plug into the pointing part yep and you'll get two of these it's actually pretty cool. I love that they invented stuff like this for it. So it's like you don't have, like you get those cool comic effects that they tried to recreate. And I feel like it was done very, very well. Last but not least, you will get a trench coat for Raph. I'm going to put it on him later. I'm pretty sure it fits very well. If you want to see it, you can watch my main man Art with Toys review. You put it on his as well. It's an hour long review and it's well, well worth it, right? And then by the time mines go up, Unparalleled Universes should be up as well. So you can take a look at his as well. I know they go over these things a little bit more extensively than I do. And I just kind of do it better. Well, sorry, better would not be the word. I do it in my own way in my photos because they cover it in video, different formats for different people. Now, let's jump into it with my main man, Michelangelo, next. All right, now we're gonna do our main man, Mikey. Mikey has our neutral smiling scope. I love it, this really fits tone of Mikey and how everyone pretty much loves him. He's universally loved. I don't care what anybody says. Then we have a concerned Mikey head, which I love this. 
This captures the essence of Mikey pretty much in almost every continuity with the exception of the Mirage stuff. This feels definitely more animated, but I love it. It fits the, it fits really well. As you know, we have our long bandana. Let's do it here in our, our shocked scope. Looking utterly fantastic there. You will get a slice of za, just like with Donnie. And you will get a hoodie. I love this hoodie for him. Leave, oh, wire top. So let's take it out actually. I wasn't gonna take it out, but let's spend a little bit of time on it so you can enjoy it. And it zips up and down, but I will say be careful. Use some tweezers when you're zipping it up and down. It's probably best that you do that. And it looks like it covers just enough space around the entire body. So this is pretty dope. <clears throat> as far as our hands go, you will get some open hands. These are gonna be for your communicator and your grappling hook, obviously, as we saw with our other turtles. We have throwing star hands for kunai or, or, or ninja stars or whatever you're gonna call it. We have two right hand, oh, sorry, two left hands for nunchuck or other weapons, depending on what you're gonna do. You will also get two right hands. One is gonna be for smaller items here. And these are also gonna be for your nunchucks for Mikey, as well as a small item throwing hand as well. Probably to hold more kunai and things like that. Then we have Mikey's tray. So you wanna get, you're gonna get two of the spinning nunchucks. We'll get into that in a second. You'll have another, oop, there we go. Then you'll get another part here, just like with Donnie for that Naginata spear. You have your extra part here for holding items. We have, I forgot the name of this for the life of me. Then we do have small darts here. I'm gonna say that these actually relate to when Mikey probably had a grappling hook <laughs> when it was removed from the old stuff. You'll have your regular nunchucks. Let's take one out. And then we take one of these out as well to talk about our effect parts. So you will get spinning chucks times two. Let's pop it right in. It goes right in. Whoop. And look at that. Now you're Thor. I like this. Right? Pop it right out. Seems like it holds really, really well. I also like that the nunchuck are wired. But I will say this, if you feel like it's going to be bending or having trouble, I would definitely aim to reinforce it. I feel like a uh, a millimeter wire that could fit through, you can just do it again. Because most of the time it won't show in photos. It's barely itself showing here. So keep that in mind. Right? Last but not least, Mikey does come with a Walkman set. Classic style. Right? And these... I don't know where his ears would be, so that's why it's even funnier for me. But it fits right on set. Where I'm gonna fit that is a whole different story. But that covers everything. I actually was going to do the shared stuff separate, but I ended up going over it with this as well. So it's not really that big of an issue. With that, now we're gonna get into the size comparisons. I don't know if I should use all four turtles or one. It doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out along the way. That's what we always do. Let's get to it. All right, now we're going to jump into the size comparison. I have a lot here because I want to, I want you guys to get an example of what we're going to get here. So we're going to start off with turtle related stuff. Then we're going to move into other things. Uh, where do we begin? All right. So here we go with some NECA. Here's a NECA Donnie from the animated series stuff. As you can see here, these guys are a tad bit bigger. Actually, let me just let you see rock out. So my sunlight doesn't like invade it. A little bit of light I got left from this cloudy day. So as you can see here, I think they scale out pretty well. So when you want to mix your media to do like a big Turtles Forever crossover, there you have it. You have that, right? Let's remove this dummy. Next up, we will do the, uh, what is it called? Loyal Subjects, Donnie, right? I just feel like I didn't need every turtle, but here is the Loyal Subjects, Donnie, which is actually very, very IDW accurate, right? So there you have that. Again, they're not a terrible scale, like at all. So let's remove this guy. Next up, we're going to do a NECA foot soldier, right? This is a human sized character. But yeah, you can see how he kind of, he is fighting me on standing up. So let's go from this side, there we go. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> then we're gonna do Metalhead from Super 7. Little bigger than them, but close enough in scale that I feel like it works. 
Then we have the animated NECA version of Metalhead. This guy is much bigger, and I feel like this works as a, a Mecha Donnie 2.0, especially if you like you paint it purple from the IDW stuff. Really fantastic how he's like bigger than them. Next up, I'm gonna do my main man Zold. You can see how much bigger it is, and I feel like this fits perfectly, like with them. And I don't know ugh, my stupid lopsided table. I have to get the new one set up. So as you can see here, there you have it, right? Next up, uh, Usagi Ujimbo. Excellent, excellent, right? He's a little bit shorter, but I feel like this really does work. Then we got the main man, NECA Casey Jones. Another human character. <clears throat> then we have NECA Master Splinter. And I feel like him being smaller than them actually really like sells this for me as him being their, their leader. I feel like this really does work. I, I don't know why, but I love this. With him being that tiny, I'm really here for that. Then we will do, and I thought this was one of the cooler ones. Here we have with the TMNT Power Rangers crossover of a foot soldier, the Tommy foot soldier, right? I feel like these work really great as army builders to go against the turtles. And because I really want this guy repainted, I love the idea of this. I just need a new sculpt. Here is the Shredder from that same crossover as the Green Ranger. I love the idea of that, right? I'm actually gonna take out a bonus character right now who I didn't think I was gonna add, but I was like, nah, you know what, I'm gonna add it. Here we are with my main man, Hellboy, right? And I'm adding Hellboy because at one point in time, there was a cool Manola cover and I wanna try to recreate that. So I'm throwing that in for bonus. <clears throat> Next up, we have two characters who I feel like always work well with it and they've actually crossed over with them ever so briefly. Batman more so, here we are with a Mezco Batman. Then we have a Marvel Legends Daredevil, which I feel like if these guys touch the same item and we're giving two different directions in life. Then we have a Lightning Collection Black Ranger. So when you do your crossover of Teenagers with Attitude, it goes both ways. Next up, we have a Jada Toys Ken. Shout out to Douglas Bailey, who got this to me. Actually, this one I found in Target, but Douglas got me one, so I want to say, I want to give him credit for that. Next up, <laughs> next up, we're going to do an AWOC figure. And I feel like these work really well with the IDW run, using them for Mutant Town. So here, it's always around. <laughs> here we are with an AWOC figure from Sparrow Toys. Then we are going to throw in, oh, here we are with a Mythic Legions. Last but not least, we're going to go with my main man, 50 Grand, Ichigo. He's also on a Mezco figure, but we're throwing him in just because I love doing it. So he's going to get the crossover with the Turtles. It's going to be awesome. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know this has been a long video. Hope you very much enjoy everything about it. I hope that you were very much informed by the end of it. So thank you guys so much for everything. I know it's a long video, but I appreciate you guys sticking it through. Hope you very much enjoy it. So please have a wonderful time. And if things have not been going well with you or in life, if you persevere, I promise you, you'll go through it and you'll realize this was not that bad. Life gets better. And if it doesn't, I hope it does for you. And I hope it changes for you. If this is the morale boost you need, I hope it works. I really do. So as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later. As promised, I did open up the pockets. And as you can see, they are working pockets. They are. So that means all of these technically are working pockets, but I would need my tweezers and a lot more time. But I do want to show you that it is in there. Holla at you,